What will it be today? Have your pick. Come again soon. I am Mercedes. I've heard talk of the Arisen. I've ordered pawns to take up swords and fight myself. I cannot call them into this world as you do, though, nor make traveling companions of them. What manner of magic lets you come? Well, it matters not. The dragon is come. I'll well make use of the encampment as you please. Are you in need of rest? Well, the core will remain here a while. Once more men have gathered, we'll leave for the capital. Until then, you're free to use our lodgings. Will you rest? As you will. Repose is the better part of readiness. I am impressed. Oh, I'll be damned! This your handiwork? For truth? Oh, what did the lack of an idol doing here anyway? Ancient tales of the Arisen are well and good, friend. But make a gift of these heads to the Duke. And you might earn yourself a real title. Arisen? I see better now from whence the legends arose. With judgment, swift footwork. Impressive, truly. In any case, the Duke will want to know of this attack. I'd hoped to gather a larger force before leaving for the capital. But a Hydra's head and the Arisen who claimed it make up the different sampling. I cannot say what the past may hold. You'll need your strength. It will be slow going with a cart. I dare say you'll have no trouble catching up. We'll meet at the Way Castle. Till then, I bid you rest well. Tis a long road ahead. Follow this road north and we'll hit Grand Sur You made it. We make for the capital, men. Like as not, the cart will draw beasts along the way. Stay vigilant. But fear not. We walk with the Arisen. Slayer of Hydras. We've arrived. Well done, men. A Hydra's head is a fine prize. His grace will be pleased with the Corps' work. Walk proud through these streets, men. We are heroes to the people of Grand Sorin. I'll make for the castle directly to offer my report to his grace. 
I'll have words sent for you, friend. Pray sojourn in the capital a while. To the castle main! Step lively! Many within the cut. I have more tasks that require Iden, but Sir Mercedes insisted it be hers instead. She was most adamant. Though she is a knight come in good faith to aid us, she remains daughter to Hearthstone's lord. It does my heart no ease to see her undertake such a dangerous errand. Alas, in the face of her ardent petition, there was naught I could do but accede. Can I ask that you at least accompany her, sir? She must be kept safe. My thanks, Arisen. Pray go and speak to Sir Mercedes. Many within the castle, I have more tasks than it, than, but first you would do that ring. you've heard, then you'll know that this task is mine. I'll not be an idle burden on the Duke's hospitality any longer. And surely you've won enough glory, sir. Allow me this one chance to approve myself. You have my thanks. This matter concerns Lord Julian as well. There is talk of dark happenings at the Stone of the North. Lord Julian's watch. He set out for the hold himself some time ago. But there has been no word since. Someone must go and see what is become of him. As a fellow guest of the Duke's, I felt it my duty. I would forbid you from interceding, but you no doubt have your own reasons for going. I will not stop you from joining me, but neither can I wait. Follow if you wish, sir. I am off. We know the way to the stone. Well met. Let us make haste. <laughs> These stairs serve as a useful route in their own right. <laughs> Just what's happened to the stone? Seems I the castle walls are going to get out of the stairs. Oh, it's so quiet. The stone is also known as Wind Bluff Tower. It lies not far from here. Grand Sorin, the beating heart of all Grandses. <laughs> of nest atop tall trees. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
best men and the strongest hold are powerless without supplies to live with. Viper! You colluded with Salvation to work sedition among the Duke's men! Salvation? You place me in ill company. I'm a man of this world. Fantasies of death and redemption concern me not one whit. Now, legends. Legends stoke up the masses. If Duke Edmund were to best a second dragon, Francis would take the ascendant. But her neighbors ill want a giant looming at their borders, am I wrong? Spare me your sophistry. The word neighbor sours on your forky tongue. Our lands have long sworn unstintingly to any neighbor beside for the dragon. <laughs> Unstinting, you say? Tell me then. Why has your Lord Father not sent your brother, joined by Hearthstone's finest steel? Why am I speaking instead with a bleating she-goat mocked even by her own men? You will retract those words, sir! Else suffer what consequence? Else I shall wash my honor clean in your blood! And you? You will play her second? I would welcome the challenge. <sighs> Stay out of this! Made an open mockery of me and my homeland! I had thought, nay, trusted you were above the base treasons of salvation's like. The knight's champion, and oathbreaker of your ilk is champion to no man, Julian. Salvation? <laughs> Damns a lot of them. And their idle talk of destruction and redemption. They were convenient to my purpose, nothing. The day of Edmund Dragon's Bane is past. He will not slay another worm. So what cause is served by sending men to die for his pleasure? The swift death of Francis is the greatest mercy to her neighbors. And what of those of this land who will die for your peace? Will you stand idly by while a people lose their land? their very lives to a plague of beasts. You are no knight villain. Pray, think of the morrow. The dragon will come again to your homeland and to mine. Who shall stand against it then if we are spent, all of us, for having held to some ancient pact? What is gained by all our deaths? Not, I say. And not would say your Lord Father. How dare you, sir? I will not suffer such slander. You know it to be true. Has he sent his finest blades? A general fit to lead them? No, he sent an ornament, so she be too daft to see it. Tis an empty show. Bastard! <laughs> Do it! Your head is a meager trophy. The men of the fort may have use of you yet. Even a she goat's skin can warm a desperate man of nights. What? He's no slander beneath you? The duel is well and settled, Arisen. Be gone from my sight at once. I've no more patience to indulge your play at knighthood, little girl. Your failure to quell the revolt is cause enough to run home to Hearthstone, tail twist your legs. I tell you this in the spirit of mercy. If you cannot best me, you cannot best the dragon. Run along home while you yet live. <laughs> Do you think me cruel, Arisen? Tis a sorry truth that righteousness is a rare luxury in war. 
You are pledged to slay the worm, and that alone. No oath binds you to the Duke, nor would my death do you any great service. There are those might call me a monster, but I am no dragon, sir. What say you? I must make a pitiable sight. I knew. I am a meager choice to send us aid. I know it well. Still, I... I could not. I must make a pitiable sight. I knew. I am a meager... Still, I... I must... Here I put on a shameful display. Lord Julian had the truth of it, every word. I am weak. I serve no purpose here, save as hollow homage to an empty pact. Aids in name only. Hearthstone nor Grancis, there's not a man in either who expected anything else of me. I knew it well enough, tasted it on every breath I drew. Yet still, I fancied myself a knight. A reason. I will return to Hearthstone. Not to lick my wounds, but to petition my Lord Father that grants his people receive true aid. I will not send you to meet the dragon with their fates weighing upon you. After, I shall return here, to aid you however I may. I am a fool. Pray, accept this token. I haven't much to give, but it would please me to know it provided you some small comfort on your journey. I cannot hope to grow strong overnight, but I will return a woman able to serve you. Until then, pray be well. Isn't it? Of course it is, I'm sorry. You just seem changed. But I suppose it isn't you who's different. It's everything else. 
And you who changed it. 